Caleb Sweethands Plant, IBF Super Middleweight Champion of the World. And if you're looking to take your training to the next level or even be a world champion like myself, I suggest Victor Cate's Fighters Training Sack. It's got everything you need. Andy Ruiz, Anthony Joshua Part 2 happening in, in Saudi Arabia. Break down that fight and does it happen any differently than the first one? No, at this point it's psychological and if anything it's going to be uh, even greater for um, Andy Ruiz because when he comes into this fight now all the doubt in his mind is removed what this guy can do. Uh, he's not going to show anything greater than what he did in the last fight. Maybe he'll lose a little more weight but at the same time man when a man has been in that kind of trouble in the fight against a warrior like Andy Reese, his mind is going to instantly revert back to the moments in the fight where he had his worst fears and when he had hope. And I just think that the world has already been created. All they're going to do is respend it, man. It's going to be the same thing again, maybe quicker. Maybe quicker. Maybe quicker. Yeah. Do you think um, what they've been saying about Joshua not being able to take a punch and that he may be a, a little overrated, do you feel it's true given what happened in the Ruiz fight? Uh, well, the thing of it is, man, um, so I'm, I'm funny about when they say, can a person take a punch or not? I think, I think to the extent that, yeah, Joshua can't take as good a punch but you got to understand, man, in the heavyweight division, the smallest guy, 205 pounds, can knock out a, a guy that's 270 pounds if he just hit him the right way. So I think it's going to be a, a, a matter of, of can Joshua overcome the, the, the things that has handicapped him, the fears from the last fight. That's what this fight is going to be about. Me personally, I think that you've given... Andy Reese, the, the confidence that he needs, and I know from being a champ, when a champion has his title, the last thing he ever going to do is depart from it, especially when his, when his plate isn't full. Andy Reese don't have millions of dollars. Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua has millions of dollars. So you're asking two guys to fight again, one whose plate is already full. One is the first Mexican heavyweight champion in history. Dude ain't gonna lose. You got to kill that dude, man. That's just my take on it. How does he match up against Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder, Andy? I think styles make fights, man. I think that in in, in the case of fighting a a, a guy like um, um Tyson Fury, it'll be a different tactic. He's not gonna have a guy who is gonna depend on his muscle and try to take you out with big shots. He's gonna have a guy that's gonna stick and move, stick and move, tie up and do everything that a, a big guy's supposed to do. So I think it's gonna be a matter of, can he adjust to be able to defeat him? Now a guy like Deontay Wilder, now that's a more dangerous fight for him because he likes to come forward. I would say his defense has to be 100% on point because we, we both know Deontay Wilder got dynamite in both hands. So. The thing of it is, is the, the one who has the best strategy, who's prepared with the, with the mental fortitude, because that's what it's going to take to win a fight between an Andy Reese and, and a Deontay Wilder and any of these guys at the top, man. That's why I was saying the other day, it's, it's, it's an exciting time for the heavyweight division because you got so many guys out there that can really make, make the heavyweight division what it used to be when everybody wanted to tune in and watch boxing. And I'm, I'm just glad to see that again. You ain't got guys out there trying to box and look pretty and win. You got guys trying to win, trying to be champions. And I'm excited. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Lemon. Thank you.